hello everyone welcome to my video today in this video we are going to model this part I have made earlier one more of this one if you want to look to that you can have a look on my channel this will be a simpler version a bit and maybe it is good to close already the existing one to not drain all our system resources on the front plane I'm going to create a circle now and here a line our diameter here 60 and we don't need to trim but we can make it it's just an old habit and now we made a revolve looking nice now on the front plane I'm going to create one more sketch a line at the length of our sphere and then a line on the front plane a little bit more than our sphere diameter for now it is okay uh, and then we go to swap surface and then we have this line this is profile this is pad and then options profile twist this value here revolutions maybe 14 is good for now after this operation we go to sketch under sketch intersection curve and our ball and this new swap operation we click both of them and the program created for me now a intersection curve which is here and with right click we can give a color to it yes for now we can hide it and we can continue other operations on the front plane I'm having a line I just drop random somewhere it is vertical as you see here and then I click my control and I click my line and the point and say midpoint and you be at 120 we close this one on front plane one more sketch a little bigger big than 40 yeah in fact we can also just stay on the 40 normally in earlier video I made something like this and I cut it later but sometimes I'm, I'm doing things with habit habitual without reason you don't need to think about it so much revolution will be in fact one divided by three that's much more correct and now this will be a ticken in the middle 1.5 merge result not active we have two solid bodies I click origin and top plane on the axis creating uh, on the, the reference creating an axis on the origin now I have an axis I will make a 55 offset and I will make again a 55 offset we can make this operation with normal cut but I would like to show you different aspects of program that's why sometimes I am choosing different methods I don't want to repeat myself yes we cut both and now we can make a circular pattern before I'm going there axis is selected circular pattern and three instances this is a separated body and then I select body good now we can combine them I edit here my comment if you really wanna have the same there you can simply shortcut uh, bars and comments and let's say what I don't have there maybe from sketch uh, I'm just thinking surfaces let's say I do use this a lot and I'm just going to put here and you can create your own that is uh, it's very 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 convenient to have something like that there in fact 
and now we have some things we can hide this axis on the right plane I could create a sketch from origin I just move and I'm going to create here a line a spline on this line well we made a mistake now this is a common mistake I uh, uh, accidentally select the midpoint of this uh, line I don't uh, like it because it's really constrained your uh, uh, line a lot or the, the object and I create here two more line and these lines will be used to make as tangency on the spline earlier I showed one thing that's good to know if you want this click this one and select one uh, parallel object to that one or any uh, horizontal and you can make also parallel but these are relatively new commands because I'm a quite old user and as I mentioned earlier some things uh, habitual continues on me I'm not doing the everything in the right way I have my own style you also have your own style probably that's great and I created here an uh, area now we can make a real cut it is looking nice if you guys want make it bigger and different profile cut revolve selected and top plane selected both selected and without selecting anything as you see I'm able to continue my operation here that's that's nice fillet will be now uh, it was one if I'm right uh, one one radius one and we can select like this it is good to complete them in different uh, operations sometimes having different uh, radiuses different places or in different orientations uh, can create problem I don't say always will happen but yeah, I have that experience sometimes I do choose different methods yes I do have a problem I did have this earlier also 0.5 I'm just trying to understand it is not because of the size now maybe it is good to do yes I'm going to try something different surface okay sorry this one radius one and let's see what happens yes it works and now that means I can select other surfaces you make face fillet Hmm. Didn't select the surface. Yes, but some of them didn't work. Let's try manually again. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm using this program 20 years, I'm always learning new things, guys. I will not completely repeat the, the bottom I don't want to make video for you very long okay uh, really sketch here front plane right plane here I think right plane is correct one here and now I'm going to create the radius one and a half uh, diameter three uh, circle and swept Yes. Oh, this is this is a swept uh, operation. We should make swept cut. Sorry, swept cut. Yes, and now it's good. Yes, we have two different bodies, and uh, now I'm going to create a radius. 
which is 0 0.25 small and I'm going to change my display state in the display state your program will work better keep in mind because you don't show edges and program uh, don't need to handle with a lot of details yes I select this one and I, I assume it will take some time just waiting oh it went very quick good just a little bit waiting for generating graphics and then we will uh, finalize yes it is fine uh, I'm going to use again this sketch simply I'm going to create a right plane sketch just copying this one and hiding the old earlier one and here a circle again and uh, making a revolve there okay no merge result in this stage maybe we can give some color to make uh, our model a little bit looking like better okay we have three solid bodies one revolve this little ball and then we have this axis uh, this uh, 3d curve maybe you notice that I'm using here 3d curve instead of making them composite curve because this common curve driven pattern cannot handle with uh, multiple uh, curves you should make them in one and if you are having this problem please uh, take care of it that uh, because it is important yes and then operation here sketch selected here and uh, my body selected program now waiting a bit to understand what I want to do and creating some uh, preview for me and everything looking fine and options align to see transfer curve and if you are not able to have this preview you should uh, change the uh, direction and then I'm going to click OK and then wait to complete it it went uh, quite quick in fact I didn't need to wait that long and you can change the number of instances etc to make it different uh, look uh, different colors in fact this was the video and I just wanted to make uh, to make sure that I do clarify some missing points from earlier uh, video some of uh, watchers had problem to put some radiuses here because this uh, number of uh, turns in this uh, surface operation was too dense try to reduce it then you will have bigger gaps and where you can place bigger radiuses this was all uh, thanks for watching see you in another video if you like it please do make comment and hit the like button